Hello, Adrian here again. So many people ask for more lessons because of Corona. So I prepare one about the walking base. And there are many videos and, and, and books about walking base and uh, all walks with the scales and with arpeggios from the chords and so But there is one thing that I don't see the last 10, 20 years maybe. And this is what I want to do today. I learned this from Reinhard Glöder, a German double bass player in the 80s. So I take some lessons by him. And it's going like this. So we begin with bass with two chords. Hmm? Also, Many people means a walking bass over tunes like uh, So What or Impressions, so model tunes, as a wit. There is a chord of a more than one bar, uh, four bars or eight bars, that is easier. In my opinion, easier is if we have many chords, this is easier and we do the other tunes later. So let's begin with something like this. So we have, for example, these chords. So, and here. F major again. This is our yeah, one, six, two, five, one progression, yeah, cadence. Uh, very often it's a regime change because of the Agat regime composition from Gershwin. And uh, we have something like this in many, many standards. And so it's also like a, a, Turn around uh, the last two bars in blues and something. So, and how we build walking bass lines over this without instrument? We don't need. The first thing we make as bass player, or I make as bass player, is we don't need the higher tensions of the chords. Yeah, in this. So F major seven, we don't need the major and the seven. F is enough. We don't, D minor 7, don't need minor, and we don't need 7. Also here the same, and also here the 7. So, sometimes we see something like this. C7, 9, sharp 11, eh? dominant chord. Uh, of C, so the tones are here C, E, G, B flat, D, and, um, and F sharp. So, but by this kind of things, we don't need this. And also this. Okay, it's an after root. Okay, and we have four possibilities how we do it. So we have these four chords and we need four notes in one bar. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The stones of one and three, they are ready. This are, we take now the roots, okay, the basic tone. So we have here F, and we have here D, and we have here G, and we have here C. Okay, sorry, this is wrong here, four, and here's one. Okay, this already, these tones. And we need now tones on the 
second, the fourth quart this time. And we have now four possibilities. The first is a white tone from below. Okay, half tone. So half tone below. So let's say for F is it E to F. Okay? This is a half tone from below. The second possibility is a half tone from above. Above. From, from oben. Zguri. Okay? We will come to F. It's guess or the G flat. Okay? The third one. A full tone from above, above, from oben. So we won't go to F. So this is then G. And the fourth is, uh, is the fifth of the next tone. Fifth. So we want F. This means C. Okay? This is the four things we use to complete this baseline. The first thing we do, we take this one, so we have F. Well, maybe we can do it so. Sorry. First. Okay, S, half down from below. So we go from F to D, half down from, this is C sharp. Half down for G is F sharp, okay? Half down to C, is B, okay, and we have here again root from the next one, and the half tone to the root for F is E. Okay, this is the first possibility. So now we make the second possibility. And we have again here the same. Okay. And we have, we go now half step, half tone above. So we, we, yeah, that's uh, guide tones, light tone. The lighten here. We go to this next root from above. So we have here E flat. Okay, G, we go to G through A flat. We go to C to D flat. And we go to F to G flat. Right? Clear? So we make the third possibility. Also in blue, okay? So, and we have again the same. F, D, G, C, and F. So, and is a full tone from the neck roots, neck roots. So, we go to D through E. Okay. We go to G to A. We go to C to D. And we go to F to G. And now the last one, the fourth 
possibility. We have again this, our roots from the cords, and we take the fifth of the neck. So the fifth of the D is A. The fifth of the G is D, of the C is G, and of the F is C. Here is this, the fifth, fourth possibility in this. Uh, last uh, uh, possibility is uh, yeah, not so interesting here because of the uh, yeah, Ketten Dominanten. I don't know how it's in English. You know, you have the uh, uh, the chords are in fifth, so so. But that is the first step we have to understand. And now gets interesting. So we build now uh, bass lines using all the things. So this and this, so we can take. So the first one, the, the roots still the same. And now we take something. So here we take the fourth possibility, let's say. Okay, the fourth one. This is the fifth of the neck. So this is then A. Let's take the, the, the two. For example, here. Okay, two is one half step above uh, the next root. The next root is C, about is D flat. Okay, then we take here from the first possibility, one half step below to G. Uh, we take the G with F sharp. Okay, and then we take the uh, last possibility, the third one. The F is one tone, also whole tone, about the next rules is F is G. So, and we have this. Okay, and this works every time. So, and now you can combine all these things. Okay, here the second possibility, here the third possibility, and here the fourth, and whatever. And you have to make your own working bass lines on all possibilities we can have here, as the chords, progressions, whatever is there. Okay, this is the first step. Okay, and here three exercises with different chord progressions, yeah? some small things. So please create your baseline with the four possibilities we make before. Good luck. There will be also time after Corona. So take this time now, practice. So I look forward and to the next time. Bye. Okay, one more thing, uh, I prepare a small playback, but in C, uh, another key.